what you schools you're interested in as, well. as their, as their so challenge. Can you introduce yourselves and, and talk about that? Uh, uh, Derby East Edge, yeah. Okay. Like, will I talk about what our project Yeah, so introduce yourself yes. and then just describe the kind of process and what your project was. Um, I'm Dirkla, and for our project, we did the Polar Express. So we created an interactive map of Shackleton's life and his journeys, and we took it to the primary schools. And we did a quiz to see how much they know about Shackleton already, and then did a lesson with them, and a quiz at the end to see how much they learned. Mm. And the, the findings of the poll request to know how much Annie got, how much the, well, the kids knew about Chatterton, and what was the response to? They didn't know a lot at the start, but they all nearly got 100% in the end. Uh -huh. really brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. So it was really interesting because it mimicked the, the process in, 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 in work or in a project where you assess what's the status before mm. you apply it, then you assess yeah, afterwards. Yeah, yeah. So that was really a, a great. Yeah. That you did. And what was in it for you then, being involved in this, as opposed to the result of it? What did, what did you yourself learn from it? Uh, we learned a lot about teamwork and leadership, and how to, you have to have deadlines and stuff and get everything. Right, alright, good, good. I suppose for the guys, they weren't allowed to choose their own teams. Myself and Kevin mixed and muddled them up, um, and so that there was kind of a, a very broad range of types of students. So <coughs> you had like a good few natural leaders, and then you had the followers and the passengers as we would call them so they you know tried to get them to all work together and then every Friday they had a meeting so for the first few weeks Kevin gave some presentations and lectures on Shackleton so that they increased their knowledge of Shackleton's you know and his uh, explorations and everything else and then they got to meet their mentors so every Friday they had a different mentor so they got to meet a whole different range of people uh, you know from different walks of life yeah. people who are retired or you know an archaeologist I see uh, <laughs> a, a welcome a friendly face over there uh, you know different people who different jobs and different experiences so they had mentoring sessions and they gave their kind of idea of what they were doing in the project how they worked together they were also graded then every friday on who was showing leadership skills there was like a grading sheet for them so then they had to get together they had to do presentation boards for the big polar bear day uh, for our final they all had to present their projects to our our team of polar bears so we had we were very lucky last year we had the we had a number of very um very high kind of politicians on our polar bear teams. We had Francis and we had uh, one of the school management as well. And then they all made their presentations. They all got like individual kind of questions. Um, so each polar bear went around and asked questions on the different projects. So the projects really ranged an awful lot from different subjects. So they kind of linked in with the school teachers with their own previous knowledge. Yeah. And then also some of them had to go and, and talk to you know different people from different areas. Like I remember. Uh, not your year, the year before, uh, talking to engineers in Saudi Arabia, where my dad worked, because we were trying to figure out where local noon was. And I'm not, I'm an English teacher, that was about as, as far away from what I would ordinarily have to deal with. So I, I rang daddy, uh, you know, when all else fails, ring daddy. Um, and I was like, I need an engineer, and I need one now. So we had the whole engineering department of Sony Ericsson in Kalski working on a project for Shackleton. So I really got them all to tie in like with so many different types of people mm -hmm. and then the presentation skills you know doing up their powerpoint and all those things that they're going to have to use no matter what job yeah. they end up yeah. in really in reality mm -hmm. you know working with people that maybe you've never spoken to before you know different types of people mm -hmm. with different interests and different you know creativity ideas so i mean it would be amazing to have the opportunity to link with I've done links with schools before in kind of England with letter writing yeah, yeah. for English and stuff. But to have like, you know, a WhatsApp group going with a group in, in Norway yeah, where you're able yes. to, you know, give them kind of deliverables yeah. and they say, okay, well, by Friday, will you have this done and we'll have this done on our end? And, you know, even for a school in Norway, the language idea as well, you know. Um, we don't learn Norwegian, but I'm sure they'll pick up a, a word or two along the way. <laughs> but, you know, just things like that. I mean, it's, it's an amazing, for us as a school, uh, when Kevin first came to me two years ago and they had done it up in the other secondary school in the Pike Community College um, it really was it was something completely different that we'd never done before they do lots of different types of projects but this was the first one that concentrated purely on project management and on leadership skills and teamwork mm. and to have such an amazing like I'm not from Thai originally so I knew the name of Shackleton but I didn't know much about kind of you know him as a as a hero or a, a major Irish personality 
So for the students to kind of engage with that, with their local history, and you know, with mm. such an amazing historical uh, figure. I know I came down for the unveiling of the Shepherds and statue, and you know, it was such a good day for the town. It really was an amazing day for the town to see people from all walks of life, yes. just to celebrate someone mm. who who was from the local area, and you know, and the same thing then for the students to be able to bring that into the classroom and to be able to bring Shackleton into it and to see how, you know, all those things that he came across and all the problems he he faced and all the issues that he had are things that on a smaller scale that they can figure out and go through themselves and can show those same qualities that he had. So from our point of view as a school, we, we love it. It's brilliant. Mm. The kids do find it tough to start out with because, you know, they're used to doing projects that involve, you know, kind of draw a picture and uh, you know do a little dance there guys and you'll be grand so when it comes to have to you know really kind of concentrate and to talk to other people adults who aren't their teachers you know they can be quite shy and daunted but by the end of it you can see a massive change in them and in how confident they are uh, you know to have a discussion with someone even just to you know come away from religion class and come talk to an ambassador for an hour <laughs> you know things like that you know it's a huge it's a major thing for a 16 year old student so um yeah, we, we adore it, so mm. hopefully we'll keep going. Kevin Thanks. still wants to work with me, so we can't be doing too, we can't be doing too much wrong. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, would yeah. you like to introduce uh, yourself and tell us a little bit about it? My name is Adrian, and I think one of the main reasons why our group was really successful is because we had the option to alter or change the topic that we were given. Like, at first we were given a completely different topic, but we decided to change it to the interactive map. And not many other groups decided to change their idea, they just kind of stuck with what the mentor gave them. But when we told our mentor that we had an idea of changing it, he was really, he was really impressed with us because nobody else was really thinking outside the box. And Miss helped us with our ideas I think as well. She was like, what about an interactive map or something? And we all really liked it. Like, we thought it was a great idea, especially for the primary school students. Like, it didn't just benefit them, it benefited us as well because we learned so much about Shackleton. Like, I didn't know much about him, to be honest. Like, I didn't really hear about it then. When we did the project, we learned so much, and it was just, it was a really good experience because we got to work with like people we never really talked to in a year. And the mentors were great as well, like having a different one every week was really good because we got opinions from different kinds of people of where we had to like work better and like how our group mm. should work together. So, well done, okay. well done. And I think what we just what Evening said there was the mm. there's no hard rules in it, so it's, it's the skills like negotiation and prioritization. Yeah. So, this, this group negotiated with our mentor mm -hmm. that we don't want to do what we were asked to do, but we will do this. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, this is how we'll do it. And the mentor accepted that as a, yeah. you know, so I think, I think that's really, uh, yeah. that was really good. Uh, so, well I think done, that's Kevin. the piece about the Shackle and Challenge. Yes. Um, yes. yes. And, and well uh, done, Kevin. Yeah, I no, second no, that. No, no. <laughs> yes, yes, <very> much. <laughs> see, Margaret has arrived here as well. Oh, hi, Margaret. So, hi, Margaret. <laughs> um, so, so that's listen. That's that's great. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. absolutely. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah, maybe I can. You know, Shackleton in Norway. He's not the national hero in Norway because he was Irish and British. But you know, we could. You know, I could think about it to to connect with one of the Norwegian polar yeah. explorers like Amundsen, who had a very good relationship to Shackleton, huh? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And they could. Um, and maybe involve one of the schools close yeah. where he grew up mm -hmm. and connect to you. Mm -hmm. And then you could exchange a little bit, you know, yes. about yes. kind of polar yeah. history and and really what does it mean today for you growing up here for your identity to have such a hero, huh? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. that would be brilliant. And to start this kind of uh, Irish polar history, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and have an Irish <laughs> polar history. Yeah. 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 Because good. maybe young that's people good. today, they, you know, you don't think about it. No, we don't think yes, about yes. all of us. It's huh? very abstract for yeah, them. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. They just think they can get on a plane and fly everywhere, anywhere they want to get. Yeah. They don't really kind of figure yeah. the struggles at all. But I think we all need to kind of, I think we all think about